so previously we discussed about transfer function okay so here we are going to discuss about the categories of transfer function the types of transfer function now basically the transfer function it is of two types means it is represented in two types the transfer function of a system it is considered to be of two types first one is the open loop transfer function okay ol tf mean short and the other one is the closed loop transfer function <coughs> okay let's call it cl tf now whenever you come across uh, any kind of a problem or any kind of a question or any kind of a concept related to control systems you will come across these two terms the open loop transfer function and the closed loop transfer function okay so now let us first understand the basic representation the basic format in which a control system is represented in a normal way okay so the basic way of representing a control system is in this way we have a summer to which there is the input let's say it is rs it is given to a block the forward path transfer function the gain of the forward path we get the output here cs then from here there is a feedback connection which is given to another block the feedback path gain the feedback path transfer function the gain of the feedback element and this it provides a feedback connection now the sign here is plus now depending on this sign here whether it is plus or minus it determines whether the feedback connection it is a positive feedback or negative feedback if it is plus then it is a positive feedback connection and if it is minus it is a negative feedback connection okay so it can be plus or minus it can be either plus or minus okay so now the open loop transfer function see this feedback connection here this feedback connection it forms a closed loop isn't it okay this connection this path it forms a closed loop this whole thing it is a closed path okay so that's why it is the transfer function of this entire system considering both gs and hs with this closed loop intact it is called as closed loop transfer function now we'll derive that how to get this uh, closed loop transfer function but if 
we break the loop here if we open it here so it's no longer a closed loop isn't it it's no longer a closed loop because the loop is broken at this point the loop is broken the path it's no longer a closed path now this is called as the open loop transfer function in case there is this this loop is broken so in that case it is called as the open loop transfer function now it is a very important parameter associated with any situation any problem related to control system now this open loop transfer function is the product of the forward path transfer function the forward path gain and the feedback path gain the gain of the feedback element the transfer function of the feedback element okay this is the open loop transfer function sometimes the open loop transfer function sometimes students what they do is that they write the open loop transfer function as only gs okay which is wrong in this case it is wrong why it is wrong because you have to consider this feedback path element what they think is that as the this loop is open this hs goes out of the equation so they directly write this open loop transfer function as gs but if the gain of this feedback path element is 1 it means if it is a unity feedback okay if it is a unity feedback connection if the gain of the feedback element is equal to 1 okay if the gain of the feedback element is 1 that is we have a unity feedback connection okay we have a unity feedback connection it means this entire thing is replaced with this if it is a unity feedback connection in that case it is correct because the open loop transfer function is equal to gs into 1 which is equal to gs it is right in case of unity feedback connection this is correct otherwise this is the normal way of representing the open loop transfer function okay so whenever the open loop transfer function of a system is being asked it is the product of the forward path gain and the feedback path gain gs into hs okay and if it is a unity feedback connection it is only gs gs into 1 which is equal to gs yeah.